I'm gonna make another video, right, live and in person, right now. Uh, I just went to, I got up early this morning and looked on the marketplace and I spotted this thing for sale. Now that's a little trailer. Ain't that cute? It's a cute little trailer. Uh, I didn't think it was when I first saw it. I didn't know what to make of it. I've seen something like this on the road before, but you know it's got tail lights and they're kind of recessed in there so when you flip it up like I just did, it won't hurt the tail lights. And it's got these little shiny wheels, you know, and it's got some wiring under there for the lights. I'm thinking, well, it was made to go on the road. I'm guessing this might have been one of them box trailers. You might have seen them go down the road. Sometimes they'll have a cover. And people put their luggage in there and they'll put that cover on them and they'll pull them with one of the little cars like a volkswagen or something uh anyway the guy i bought this from said it was french he said they make these in france and i was thinking i got a couple of friends over here. i got a guy named gene my probably ain't pronouncing it right it's probably jean me who knows but anyway he's building a hot rod in his basement in france and talking about coming over here to visit and then we all know Harry Parker, he's a YouTuber, and he's over, he, he was in England, but he built, he bought a house over in France, so. Now I got me a French trailer, so I can be like them French guys, you know, French guys are sexy, that's what the girls say. I know French girls are sexy. But anyway, that's off the point. So anyway, I bought this. Well, I got to looking at it, this little plastic box just has some screws into it, and those screws go down into what looks like a little flatbed see how that folds up for storage well that's a little flatbed piece of aluminum this is all made out of aluminum to make it lightweight and i've been talking about a trailer to put my boat on you know that uh, that flat bottom boat that i got to go down to the lake and i was thinking dang i could set that flat bottom boat right on that and just extend that tongue a little bit and take it in one hand and just walk down to the lake with the flat bottom boat sitting on it. I bet it would just go as sweet as sugar. Just as smooth as honey. Just as dynamic as a public speaker. So, yeah. So, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, I gave 85 bucks for it. Oh, look, it's even got serial numbers and stuff in case I wanted to register it and get a tag. That's pretty special right there. Okay, so I just thought I'd share that with y'all. I think that's honking. And, uh, I actually took my trailer over to get it and put that on the back of my trailer. That way I didn't have to deal with issues of lights and registration and all that. Uh, of course, they say, he was the guy I bought this from, say, wait, I won't bother you down here about that. And he might be true, but, you know, he might not be true. They might see my Yankee plates on the car and give me a ticket just because I'm not a, not a, don't look like a Southerner. I've been thinking about getting me a gun, a big gun decal. Because these big four-wheel drive trucks down here, they see me with this main tag and it's a Prius and they think, oh, there's a Yankee. Let's let's ride his bumper with our big four-wheel drive trucks. I'm thinking about getting me one of them, you know, one of them black rifles that everybody's scared of. Just a giant sticker to put on the back. That way when they're riding my, my backside, they look down, they see that black rifle, you know, and say, hmm. Maybe we ought to back off this guy a little bit. He don't look safe. I, I might do that. I don't know. I'm thinking about it. Of course, up in Maine, they'd give me the dirty look for that. But down here in Dixie, they'd, that's how you make friends down there. You whip the gun out, say hi. Okay, I'll stop talking now. I love y'all, whether you like it or not. So get over it. I'm about using this to put that boat on. A little tin boat that's out back. And I was talking about extending the handle. I was just looking at this. Now, this handle here is just put on there with a pin. I could quite literally take this pin out, find me another piece of metal like this and extend this thing out as far as I wanted to and put a little hand handle. Uh, I could put a little like bicycle grip handle on it or a T handle or something like that. Yeah, I could make me a little thing, a little setup, put that boat up there, up in there. Yeah, that would work good. And if these wheels were right in the middle of the boat so that it was balanced, then I wouldn't have hardly any problem at all lifting it. Yeah, and that, that would come right off of there real easy. I might uh, I might take it over to the garage and squirt a little, little oil on these screws here. Let them be loosening up. Oh, the joy. This thing is way harder than nothing. Literally. 
it uh, I could actually set it back there if I wanted to put it out of the way for storage purposes mm -hmm. sure could. Hmm. and then again I might decide not to do that at all I, I had started planning in my head to make a set of wheel thing, a wheelie thing like that to go into that boat. But it's nice to have options, and you know what, even if I didn't use that for that little trailer, it'd make a handy little yard trailer around here to, for when I'm shoveling gravel and want to dump it out and stuff. Oh, the joy. Oh, the joy. Let's go make more videos. Yeah.